So uh, that's that's how yeah, I met you. Of course, we uh, um, Sandra came, uh, sorry, uh, invited me to come see you here because I had an audition for Buddy. Um, this was like a year after I came out of drama school. Yeah, and I remember coming in here and kind of going, "Oh, I don't really know what I'm doing." And you were like, "It's fine, it's fine, it's just rock and roll. It's, okay. <laughs> it's easy, yeah. it's easy." Have a pint. <laughs> yeah. it's all right. Good. Um, this is my old. In fact, this way, this is my guitar from my number one Strat. From the Victoria Palace, 1993, 94 into 95. Look at it. Well worn. Japanese, 1957 vintage reissue. Glorious. So Indeed. it's weird that I've got a DVD at home, sat down watching you play that guitar. Yeah. And your head kind of going, I'll never be able to do that. Yeah. It's easy, really, isn't it? <laughs> if you say so. Don't tell them. <laughs> How many years has it been since that's been out? And... Well, I've had it in this dressing room for the whole time because if I'm, I do lots of recording stuff in here, I've, I've just actually done the the backing tracks for Junior Bloody, hey. which is out in July, I think. Yeah, I think they're doing a, a test version of it in Harrow or something with uh, Jockey Bannister. And so, but me and Jockey put together all the tracks for Junior Bloody. Um, what we got? Hello. Oh. Oh. So I had to do like a guide vocal for everything, which is really weird at my age to suddenly be there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and but, well, I mean, obviously now here you are, um, Kashagi and Wheel Rock you, winning awards and all that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not me personally. But, <laughs> but the, the show is. Yeah. But one of the things like. Uh, I often, you know, when I, when I do an interview, I get asked about, you know, the original jukebox musical. I mean, we're sat here now, it, you know, obviously Wheel Rocky is a huge show. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's just gone off on its first kind of first UK tour last year or a couple of years ago. I remember mm. we were up against it at one point um, on Buddy. And it all kind of spawned from, from Buddy, like 22, 23, what was it, 89? Yeah, I think what you were saying earlier on that, yeah, the, you have a new audience of young people that are finding they really like rock and roll and rockabilly music and they're coming to see your show because I think when Buddy first started it it appealed to the the age group of the mid to late 40s you know people that were around at the time you know when Buddy was was famous and then so suddenly you're putting on a show 25 years later or whatever and they were people like in their 40s can afford to come to the theatre and I think that's why it did really well for that, that period of time, in the same way that now people in their 40s and 50s are Queen fans. Yeah. And so that, that's what got this show going, because they can afford to come, it's, it's expensive, you know. Yeah, of course. The but now, we've got a whole, a whole lot of young fans in this show as well, like you have. Yeah. Do you do Ready Teddy or Rip It Up? Uh, we do Rip It Up. Yeah, that's weird, I had to learn that one for the... Have you still got buddy break. picks? No, these are, we were rocky, but I have got buddy picks, I've got oh. bags and bags of buddy picks. But that's a, <laughs> Was that a wheel? We were rocky pick. Wow. But, you know, I'm sure if I looked around here somewhere, I could find... Every time I see Ernie Ball, hey! Ball. hey. Ah, never far away. <laughs> that's one from the VP. Yeah, that's very old. That one is dear, very old indeed. Oh, the Gary film. Busey film? Yeah. I love that film. Yeah? Yeah. Even though it... it you know, all the names are wrong, aren't they? The crickets. Oh yeah, stuff. they wouldn't give their rights to it. And he's Billy nothing Bob, like Buddy Holly, is he? But I think he's great because he's a, he's a loony. Yeah, he is a loony. Yeah. But he's he's very very lovable loony. Yeah. Maybe that's part of what being Buddy is. You've got to be a lovable loony. I like it when Peggy Sue gets on the train to college and and he says, "I'm not coming with you." Was that Echo? 
Oh, whatever, whatever her name is. I'm Echo sure. Maguire, yeah, his first girlfriend. That's her real name, but they don't, they don't use that. In the oh, no, no, they don't use that in the film, yeah, of course. Like, you know, and um, she says, oh, what am I going to tell my friends, buddy? And, uh, and he goes, I don't know, just tell them, Bula Bula. And, I mean, <laughs> and that kills me, though, Lionel. I love the way he does that. <laughs> I kept telling Joe about that, and I had to find it on YouTube, and the little clip, and she, she's quite disappointed it wasn't as funny. You know, you know I'm going to have to cut away to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get it off the DVD. Absolutely. Uh, tell them bula bula. What? Well, what am I going to tell the kids at college? Well, tell them uh, bula bula. Have a good time. So yeah, we talked about how like Buddy helped the shape the musical business that we have now. I guess yeah. with the whole you know it spawned a monster. Um, when you were doing the gig though, I mean, you said to me, this must have been like two and a half years ago now. Sat here when I was talking yeah. to you about all the rest of it, you said that make the most of this because you will never have another job like it in your life. You won't. That was the weird thing. Like, the, you're in charge of everything, aren't you? Yeah. But obviously in, in the old days, when we played things a lot slower than you do now, uh, <laughs> you know, it, you're in charge. You count every song in. And you bring every song off. Like, when you say slow, what do you mean? I mean, oh my god, I couldn't believe it. When I was doing these the tracks, I started to do the basic tracks, and then Jockey come back and went, nah, it's too slow. It's got to be really fast. And what? Yeah, like lightning. And when I saw it at the Duchess, I think everything is just, a, in my opinion, just crazy fast. Right. You listen to, back to an old Clear Lake from, yeah, maybe Baby used to be, used to really sit there. And, Baby, baby, I'll have you. There, you know. Yeah. And what do you do? It's like, baby, baby, I'll have you. Maybe not exactly that. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but no, I, I know what you're saying, but. And. Yeah. Really, it's like buddy fans across the world just imploded in joy <laughs> seeing you do that. <laughs> um, well, okay, so, so we're talking about. Um, the way like uh buddy is the most iconic role yeah i mean you played it now 10 years ago holland australia uh, well 11 years ago holland australia and some more than yeah. that i was 34 in australia and i was stood there luckily there were big venues because it'd be just like and here he is folks just 19 years of age <laughs> <laughs> okay good job yeah. yeah, but look at that! Look at that lovely head of hair, though. There's no way Tell you're you ever gonna. Yeah, <laughs> plenty of hair. My silly old hair. There we are. But, but well, okay, so you were in Australia, um, and and also back in '92, '93 to '95. '93 to '95. Sorry, P. Yeah. So you did the UK tour. You did it in the West End. You did it internationally. What was your favourite venue, or can you remember what stands out to you more so than anything else? Um, playing buddy. Oh, my favourite sort of, I mean, the American tour is great. It's not when people ask me what what's my favourite job I've ever had, you know, but they've all been great mm -hmm. for their thing, for, for at the time, you know, from where I was in my life and what I was doing. But um, but really, me and Mike Doyle and Alex Pyers at the Victoria Palace, we did that year, and that was just great. Yeah. Because we really used to go for it, you know, hugely. It was a real team effort and we all we were like best buds and um and we talk about it now you know mike even saw this a few months back and we just go out for a drink and talk about those days and it was just amazing and everyone would turn up for work with the same enthusiasm we'd be leading from the front you know and it was just great and and the vp i was, I was for the show was really meant to be at the victoria palace it's sort of designed you've got the beautiful uh, the boxes either side and they, the, the stage came out a bit further over what would be the orchestra pit, you know. So you could knee slide all the way along and and you'd have to grab onto the box <laughs> to stop yourself, you know. And now whenever I see any show at the Victoria Palace, you know, I sit there and look at the box and go, it's got like dented and scratched, you know, <laughs> where this guitar's smashed against it as I'm grabbing onto it. And, uh, you know, and that was it. So, the, yeah, that year, 93 to 94. Right.